The Old and New Testament witness to God's mighty acts. The creeds of the early church preserve the faith of the apostles who first preached the Gospels of Christ. Therefore, with one church universal, we believe in one God, eternal Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one, one in three, equal in power and glory. God is the Father to whom we come. Let us come before our Father in heaven in prayer. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, who commands all creation and in creation commands us to be stewards thereof, and as your chosen heirs called in Christ Jesus' name by your Holy Spirit to be gathered together in fellowship this day in worship and in praise, drawn away from all the, the worldly activities, all the, the worldliness of our, our, of our thoughts and ideas to focus upon you, to have our will reset upon your will, and to be lifted up and washed clean from the sins and stains that mar us, but also identify us to so many. Lord, let us be set free from the bondage of sin, set free into the, to the joy and the fellowship and the wholeness of praise and honoring you and the love that we show to you by caring for our neighbor, by loving one another. Oh Lord, forgive us. And we have made our lives about that which serves only us and really serves no one at all. For Lord, when we decide to be selfish, when we decide to be self-righteous, when we act in ways that divert us from the path that you have set for us in Jesus Christ, we go nowhere. And we enter into an emptiness and a void that takes the meaning of life away. So Lord, cleanse us again from our sin. Forgive us from the griefs we have caused one another, the pain and suffering that we have been party to in this world, and the ignorance with which we have acted. Lord, by your Holy Spirit, enable us into wisdom, more than knowledge, but the true and right application of all that we can do, all that we can understand, that our lives will be about praise unto you, and our existence will look forward to the eternal glory before your throne. Lord, let us be a part of that church that is now and forever, gathered in Christ Jesus' name. For it is in his name that we pray. Amen. And our assurance is this. When the kindness and love of our God and Savior appeared, he saved us not because of the righteous things that we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, so that being justified by his grace, we might be those heirs having the hope of eternal life. Our hymn of praise on this Trinity Sunday, Holy, Holy, Holy. Number three. 